motherfucker. That mute asshole, that fucking snake without a tongue, gave me this shithole instead of a pink slip. I must be the biggest fucking idiot in the whole fucking world. Holmes, take it easy. At least we're alive. Carl, friend, fellow traveler, relax, man. You're really killing my fucking vibe here. Well, I'm sorry I'm fucking up your vibe, old man, but I can't wait to get my hands on that mute and your bitch-ass cousin. My cousin? You're gonna diss my familia? My bad, man. I'm just pissed for all of us. I mean, look, we in a strange place, we got shit to our name, and for once, I try to make something work this garage, and it ain't even a garage. Then make it into a garage. Oh, that's a great idea, sis. Won't you shut up? You know what, Carl? You are a fucking idiot. Your whole life you wanted something for nothing. Now you got something, and you don't know what to do with it. We'll make it good enough. We'll help, right? We got your back, CJ. Come on, stop tripping, man. Both of you. Whoa, man, the energy here, it's fantastic. Oh. Yeah, uh, all right. But how am I find some good mechanics to work up in here, man? I know a few guys. Come with me, friend. They're good people, I swear it. Ah, oh, man, I'm about to ride with this fool again. Come on, man. There's these two guys I know. Used to work on marine engines. Until the mob bought their business over in Vice. Now they try and make ends meet by taking any old job. They're a little bit dull by their habit. But the smoke don't get in the way of their skills with an engine. We'll pick up Jethro first. Last I heard, he was working at a garage over in East Basin. Hey, man, how you meet these dudes anyway? Met them in singing that song on the way to put my wife down. Just joking, people, she survived, okay? Dude, Dwayne, man, how's the hot dog business? The dust. It's totally shit. Why? What's happening? Uh, my friend Carl here is opening a chop shop. Jethro's in. How about you? Uh, yeah, cool, man. Uh, I've got, like, some shit to take care of first, though. So, uh, you tell me where you guys are gonna be at, and I'll meet you dudes there. The garage is on the waste grounds in Dory. I'll see y'all later. Okay, next stop, cop station downtown. What? You out your mind. Why? If I told you, the likelihood is you'd get a probe up your ass within a month. Like, listen to the man, dude. He's real serious about that shit. Well, uh, okay. But you're starting to freak me out with all that spaceship, man.
Okay, you know the drill. Don't look interested in anything. Picture a pink golf ball in your mind. Okay, we're good to go. Where to next, spacehead? There's an electronics guy I've had dealings with. Goes by the name of Zero. He could fix a supercomputer with a paperclip. He's got his own shot, but he's always ready to help fellow travelers along the path. Look, what's going on, True? Who was him do? Don't go there, man. Listen to Jethro. But what if I told you we never went to the moon? JFK lives in Scotland with Janet Joplin. And the only reason we've been in the Cold War for the last 45 years was because snake-headed aliens run the oil business. I think you popped another micro guy. Good. Keep it that way. Alone at Berkeley, this is stalking. Oh, hey, truth. Get in. I'll fill you in as we drive. Home, James. Years, Carl, zero. Zero, Carl. What's up? Carl here is opening a garage around the corner. I told him you're the man to speak to when it comes to electronics. <laughs> Actually, I'm the only man to speak to. <laughs> Grade A, tip top genius. That's me. You should drop by the shop sometime. See some of my shit, bro. I'll do that. Okay, we here. A week of hard work. And we'll transform this place. Hey, Caesar, come over here. What's up, B? Caesar, this is Jethro, Dwayne, and Zero. Hey, man, dude. Salutations, my sibling. Orale, let's get to work. Hey, hey, Carl, look. I think I found a way for us to get paid. I ain't going to no college to study no account. No, idiot property. Decorating ain't exactly my thing either. No, property development. Look, you buy a dump like this, fix it up, and sell it. Or better yet, you turn the property into a business. The snowball gets bigger. I don't know, sis. This all sound big time to me. Look, Carl, this place is going to get on its feet. And when it does, we are going to have money. If you want to make something of yourself, you got to let your money work for you. Look, I wouldn't even know where to start. Look, you two concentrate on the garage and let me work the property thing, OK? Yeah, that's my baby girl right there, Holmes. <laughs> Man, you chose her. I'm stuck with her. <laughs> 